Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot with Vlogger's Day 13, and today we're going to look a little closer into Ashes, Rise of the Phoenix Born. Ashes came out at Gen Con this year from Hot Hat Games, and has this beautiful, beautiful art from uh, Fernanda Suarez, and uh, she deserves all of the credit in the world for making this game very appealing to pretty much everyone that looks at it. Um, the game itself is a card fighting game. Uh, it is designed to go from two to five players, but really above two players it feels a little bit awkward. So I'm just going to talk about the two player experience and say that I've really only played the decks that were built and put into the rule book. I've never built my own deck or a net deck or anything like that. I've only played as it is intended with the rule book. That being said, that experience is maybe a little limited for me. Um, it feels a little bit like rock, paper, scissors, so if I grab the mill deck against your deck that wants to already discard cards, I'm at an advantage. And the, the deck that has never-ending amounts of creatures, uh, the deck that wants to control and destroy all of your creatures is going to have a little trouble. So... Overall, I would say it uh, fails the straight out of the box attempt. Um, it's a really interesting system to learn. You you roll ten custom dice uh, every round, and it gives you which powers you can evoke. And every deck has a very specific flavor. So this woman is the Southern Belle, and she wants to mill out her opponents. Uh, this woman has snakes, and she wants to make her creatures bigger and bigger and bigger, even though she doesn't cast that many of them. Uh, you have this lady who is all about hurting herself or her creatures to hurt you. And you get it. Um, it's like a lot of LCGs, where it has very common tropes, but the resource management, using the dice, uh, the attacking and exhausting your own creatures is very different in the game but I look forward to the moment where I can make my own decks because I don't feel that you can just pull anything out of the box and play it against anything else there are skewed toward uh, winning depending on who you're playing against and the multiplayer experience when you're just learning a game is rather miserable it's kind of like playing multiplayer magic without knowing the game real well so um, I look forward to future games of that but that's uh, what I played tonight uh, we played a little bit of conflict of plants which is a prototype for my friends the board game group and I played a little more networks, which I'll have a full video review for very, very soon. Um, but that was all for me for now, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.